Hi guys, welcome back and uh, uh, now we are going to see the third step. Uh, what we have to do next is uh, first I'm gonna include a file and uh, this would be for the both support package which is BSP and uh, we need to initialize the BSP in order to initialize the LEDs on board and the buttons. I'm not gonna use uh, the buttons uh, today. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna initialize the LEDs so that we can see uh, the state uh, of Bluetooth. So, for example, uh, if uh, our device is advertising its data, we can see the lights, uh, blinking states, and uh, uh, different stuff. So, we need to initialize the uh, both support package, and uh, from there we will. Uh, initialize the LEDs so this is going to be the third step and uh, to do that we have to include BSP button BLE uh, basically we have to include uh, this header file instead of uh, simple uh, BSP.h uh, because it's uh, especially for the BLE and uh, it uh, takes care of the stuff if uh, you don't know what is BSP uh, please watch my previous tutorial in the previous tutorials I have already covered this topic and uh, in details like uh, how we configure it and what are the functions which are available for the BSP uh, so if you want to use the BSP uh, you have to know about it so the link uh, is uh, right on the top of uh, top corner of this video so you can check it out uh, check that tutorial on the BSP uh, check both of the tutorials on the on BSP and then the next thing is let's create a function uh, which is going to initialize it so I'm gonna say uh, step 3 so basically I'm initializing the LEDs so uh, for this let's uh, so let's create a function We'll just declare this error code and uh, variable and uh, then assign it uh, the function uh, which is going to check if uh, some error occurred during the initialization of uh, BSP. And here I will just uh, initialize the LEDs. So for that BSP init LEDs. I'm not using any callback uh, uh, functions so for this any callback handler so I'm just gonna, gonna use null for this and here in the next step we are just going to pass this uh, error code if uh, some error occurs uh, we will see it in the debugging window this is the third step and we, ha we just have to initialize the LEDs in the next uh, tutorial we will see what's the next step thank you very much for watching this see you in the next video